spiritually yours back with another reading hey y'all what's going on i hope you're all doing well we're gonna hop right into it to my angels my guides my ascendant masters of divine the universe the higher power archangel michael Raphael, jophiel gabriel uriel metatron azarel and to my angels who are love and care for me and want the best for me please and thank you for the clear precise accurate messages that i need to deliver to the collective at this time let's get it we're all on different timelines this could be someone's past present future flip the roles if need be take only what is yours um and use your discernment and this is not gender specific let's see what we get today oh i wanted to give miss sherry Ann a shout out for sending me um a beautiful package um the name of this one is hidden Hearts Hidden Secrets, and then this one is just called Tarot, but it came in um like a gift box with a candle and all kinds of stuff. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. But let's see what we get here. Right off the bat, we have Divine Masculine. Yang and Masculine Energy. We have Clarity in Reverse truth intentions and honesty okay there's a divine masculine that's not being honest to, about whoa about something here <laughs> or uh, there's a divine masculine that's being lied to um they're around somebody that's not honest um hold on y'all mm. uh we have confusion uncertain unclear unsure this could be the divine masculine that's not giving the divine feminine some clarity here um they could be hiding feelings or not being truthful about something and it has a divine feminine confused about the relationship and where they stand with this person um we have bluff pretending mass and exaggeration well i will be damned depth awareness importance and value there could be a divine masculine here that's not letting a divine feminine know how he feels about her because his feelings are really deep for her so he's wearing some type of mass here or he could just be a liar and he's lying about something <laughs> that uh is not giving the feminine a chance to decide on whether she wants to be involved with this person or not so the divine masculine could be hiding something about themselves that they know the divine masculine might leave them for um there's definitely some secrets here let's see what else we get in. Mm. so we have conflicted decisions hot and cold multiple choices in ecstasy chasing thrills excitement and a good time okay so it could be a masculine here that's not telling the feminine that he really doesn't want commitment here this person could be on the fence with this hot and cold energy about whether they want to be committed or non-committal to a divine feminine here um i feel like they're straddling a fence and your the feminine's ancestors is going to push their ass to one side you don't get to straddle the fence with a, a divine feminine. You make a choice. Uh, we have beginnings, exactly. They might push his ass on the side where he has to go in another direction um, away from the divine feminine here. Try again, new direction, start over. Mm. Well, there could have been a divine masculine that was confused whether they wanted to deal with third parties i'm feeling be out here just doing their thing or be committed to a divine feminine and they chose to be out here doing whatever so the feminine could be going in a new direction here um why i got no time to play no damn games confessions unveiling coming clean and messages if this person is straddling the fence i feel like something's coming out to make this divine feminine move in a different direction we have foundation here, established family and security, conflict, clashing, different differences, and incompatibility. Um, 
I just said it, influences, attachments, third party, and peers. Look at there. There's a masculine here that doesn't know whether he wants to be divine or not. Whether he wants to take the high road and 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 form a solid foundation um, with the divine feminine or go out here with third parties. I feel like they're going to be pushed to make a decision or you will make it for them, the feminine energy. Um, this person could drink a lot too with this. It looks like a margarita here. We have stress, turbulence, tension, and arguments. Um, some of y'all could find out about a third party here and it causes um, arguments and tension in the relationship. Um, this person is definitely trying to hide here what's going on. They could have like a double life here. They could be committed to a divine feminine and then on the other hand, be out here doing all kinds of stuff here. We have longing. Craving, aching, and wanting. This person could have a um, an addiction here. They could have a sex addiction. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, I feel like they're battling something here. We have healing, releasing, purifying, and cleansing. Apology, forgiveness, return, and sorry exhaustion, depletion, drain, and long journey. If this is somebody that um, y'all left already, this person is not, they feel depleted and drained when it comes to being with multiple people or entertaining multiple people at one time. It's getting exhausting. I feel like it's getting boring or it's not, it's not fulfilling this person. I think that's why if this is a present person, this is why they're straddling the fence because it's like it could give them a moment of gratification, but it's not fulfilling this person. So I feel like they could have an addiction here. With longing and healing, this an apology next to healing, this person could be trying to come out of this energy, but um, some of y'all, y'all could be depleted. And just sick of this at this time. I don't know here. Um, we have trapped, stuck, tied down, and captive. Oh, boy. I don't know what to say here. Family, fertility, parenthood, and pregnancy. Somebody feels trapped by with by a baby. Somebody could feel like they got trapped in a situation. And it's because they want to go out here and do other things. They want to go out here and explore. So they somebody don't want to be committed here. We have cloudy judgment, illusions, unbalanced, and distorted. This person has a choice. This masculine has a choice whether to be divine or distorted here. That's it. There's no in-between. They can no longer straddle the fence and hide whatever is going on here. They're going to, um, judgment is coming. Yep, and this person could get abandoned by you. Left out, walk away, or cold. Or this person could abandon the collective and go towards um, their vices and addictions that they have. Intuition, heart song, telepathy, and inner knowing. And some of y'all can know that... Um, this person is a player here. Um, divine feminine in reverse. This person then turned the divine feminine in the reverse. They didn't got the divine feminine energy up and down, all over the place, confused, don't know which way to go with this relationship or this situation, um, whether to stay, whether to go. So I feel like you're both straddling the fence here on this relationship whether to let it go or try to fight for this. Um, beauty, charming, graceful, and kind-hearted. I feel like the divine feminine uh, might be, um, you're very appealing and attractive, um, very kind-hearted to others, but I feel like you're starting to lose a little piece of yourself being with this person. Um, 
the divine why is, is like the divine masculine is upright because they're okay with this situation um some of them could be okay with having a double life here or a plan um on both sides of the fence and the divine feminine is not content with this situation um elusive dishonesty deception and trickery this person could be superficial too they could um with beauty next to this elusive i feel like this person is into like looks um this person could um i'm still getting i just keep hearing um addiction and the channel song i heard was contagious by r kelly and oh god i forgot the name his name um isley the isley brother um bitterness resentment anger and hurtful words you're contagious touch me baby give me what you got I, this person mm -mm pain apprehensive afraid and cautious this could be turning you better that's why the divine feminine is in the reverse the feminine energy can be getting better turning better because of this situation here um cautious about this relationship does like don't know yeah, look, broken, shattered heart, broken, and destroyed. Oh, this divine masculine is getting ready to hurt this divine feminine here. I feel like, yeah, attraction, spark, and chant, and um, passion. They have addictions. I feel like they're going to go distorted mistakes misunderstood victim and lost soul yep i just said they were gonna go distorted they're about to fall from grace there's a divine masculine that's gonna be stripped here i feel like this person is leaving behind a family um foundation that they have with the feminine energy they're gonna be sorry for this shit this is disgusting here, energy. They could have something with that contagious song and all this damn third party and stuff going on here. We have time, waiting cycles and moments, realizations, epiphanies, understandings, and awakenings. Yeah, they're saying here they have a choice. thinking missing you craving and desiring yeah they gonna once they get the epiphany of what they're losing here they're gonna um they're gonna really miss out on yep look only you this is what is supposed to be devoted attached and crave once we got craving and crave once you step away from this person or if you did already this person is thinking about you and that they should have made the choice to choose you with only you here so it's going to be a lot of shoulda, coulda, woulda for this masculine, which is not going to damn matter because I feel like the feminine is out of here. Mm -mm. Loyalty, yep. Yeah. Only, yeah, they're thinking about they should have chose you. They should have been loyal. Trusting, believing, and re uh, reliability. I always get tongue-tied with that. Return, second chance, opportunity, making amends. Yep, this is, a lot of y'all left this person already. They're thinking about you, how things would have been, if they would have made a better choice. Um, They're thinking about how, how unloyal they were, and now they want to return for a second chance. You don't get no damn do-overs. As I say, you don't get that. We have rejection here. A lot of y'all, this person's coming back around to you. Abandon, dismiss, and irrational fear. They chose a side. They need to stay there. After the repercussions, now you want to come back. No, mm -mm. Take your ass whipping and stay over there. Perspective. Better off happiness, clear headspace. Yeah, the feminine is done with this. Off to bigger and better things. If this hasn't happened yet, 
the feminine is right, like, right there when it comes to rejecting, leaving this person behind. And you're going to be better off for doing it. And just because I'm saying feminine, I could still be talking to a man. We have distracted in reverse. Sidetrack, change, and delays. Yeah, if you left this person already, it's not going to change. You're going to stay on the path you're on. And it's going to bring you some type of happiness here. This is this person. They have to deal with their consequences. And I don't think this person has healed. So some of them they have because they're longing for you. Healing and apology. I just feel like it's because they're getting epiphanies of who you are. No backseat here. Soulmates. Deep love, unity, and connection. Yeah, they understand now. Fantasy, daydreaming, imagining, and fantasize. Mm, they're hoping to get a chance with you. They're hoping to be able to rekindle this. Sorrow in reverse. Loss, grief, and depression. But I feel like the feminine energy has already dealt with the loss of this person. Has done the healing and better off and going on to something better here. Withdrawn. It's in reverse. Single, lonely, and solitary. Some of y'all have moved on to someone else already. Confirmation. And y'all got somebody that's just realizing the mistake that they made. So now they feel like they should have a second chance with you. The shit is in the past. We got past life. Deja vu, repeated patterns, and karmic lessons. This, with me feeling this person has an addiction, they've done this over and over again. It's just that they never felt this loss from you leaving them. They haven't felt it like this with anyone else. So now it's giving them an epiphany that they need to change. I don't know if they are um, changing, but they definitely want to change how they treated you. We have spying, social network information and in ways. Mm. They're probably looking at pictures they have of you, lusting here. Forbidden, non-committal, and sexual energy. Yeah, this is forbidden. They can't come back to you. It's over. They're just in heavy um, nostalgic energy. And you're the one that got away. Memories. I see reminiscing, dwelling, bittersweet. They realize that the lifestyle that they chose over the divine feminine and being a divine masculine, it wasn't worth it. It gave no fulfillment. It gave like temporary um, fulfillment to them when they had long lasting love with he here with you. They were supposed to. So um, this person, I feel like they fell from grace now and they're understanding a lot of things. Um, clinging, holding on, obsessing, and spying. And they could have an obsession with you at this time. An obsession with getting you back um, is what I'm feeling. Um, some of y'all don't even trust this person, so you can't even rekindle anything. And some of y'all aren't even talking to this person. There's no communication here. Silence, frozen, no words, and stonewall. Pride is in reverse. Arrogance, ego, and stubborn. They had an ego death. This person might have thought that eventually after leaving you and dealing with other people that they would have found someone that would be there for them and somewhat give what you gave to this person. And I feel like everybody just was there for a good time and not a long time. Like, this person might have, um, they might have some issues with um, thinking that chemistry, passion, and sex would keep somebody. 1919 was on a the timer. But, I mean, at, at some point, that's not enough. To You can't keep a relationship going that way. It, it involves other things. And I don't know if this person, their judgment was clouded here. We do have clouded judgment on how they look at love. But they were supposed to learn something from you here. And they chose not to when it comes to how to properly be loved by someone. Um, 
they're not going to get a second chance with most of y'all i feel it's because the energy you were in with this person you don't want to um, relive that again especially if they're not healed and then we have commitment in reverse marriage promises and fidelity now mm -mm, i don't trust this person escaping avoiding blocking and pushing away yeah mm -mm. they need to go ahead on hopeless sinking despair and falling apart yeah, they fell from grace. So, I mean, I could only imagine what could be going on with them. Curse, hex, oh, as I say that. They could have encountered somebody that put a hex on them or they're just in a negative mindset at this time because we have hex, witchcraft, and negative mind. They just feel hopeless. There are a lot of things about you is replaying in their mind. It could be like seeing you and if i don't know it's like they get glimpses of glimpses of you when they're out or i don't know it's just like almost they're being haunted by you like the memories of you and you know how you smell how you look how you cook how you talk how you dress like it's like constant for this person finality mm. farewells leave behind and closure some of y'all, this person didn't give you closure, but you gave it to yourself, which caused you to be able to go ahead on and move on and just leave this behind. Um, hoping. I know this person ain't. This person got to be shitting me. We got hoping here. Expecting faith and manifesting. Shit, they could be trying to curse you. To get you to come back to them. They could be trying to manifest you. Um, Intimacy. Bonding. Sensual and confiding. I know this person. This person could want to sleep with you too. They want some type of form of intimacy from you. Second chance. Reconciliation. Making amends and opportunity. <laughs> the possibilities are there no they're not we have possibilities free spirit adventure and risk this person is going to take a risk because they don't want you to reject them but i feel like it's it's bugging them so much they could as i say bugging them so much we have breaking point um they feel like they have to they feel like they have to come forward I mean, even if you reject them, they'll be like, well, at least I tried again. They feel like it's a possibility possibility that you'll take them back. Um, we have breaking point, limit, final, strong, overwhelm. And I feel like them watching you on social media is not making it any better. Because if you on social, social media looking fine as hell, going out doing things, you got blessings you putting on there and um good things happening for you some of y'all posting you and your new person is it's this person's gonna have a break it for it like it's, i don't know y'all this person about to lose it over something they're seeing because he has a um laptop in his hand so it's something they're seeing about you um it's kind of getting them to the breaking point but you need to have boundaries with this person no drawing the line and enough one more card. They need to go ahead, go to hell on. Heart fog. Yeah, they're kind of delusional here. Mixed signal, mixed signals blocked emotions and messed up. Who are they in some funky energy? Chasing, they're getting ready to chase you. Pursuit, toxicity, and resilience. Obsession, infatuation, uh, um, addiction, and shallow. Hollow, empty, and boredom. I said their life, this third party stuff got bored, boring to them. It's like, ah, I gotta keep meeting people over and over again and acting like I wanna get to know this person so I can get what I'm trying to get out of them and then it's off to the next person. It's repetitive and redundant. Like, now it's like they're at a point when in their life where they wanna settle down and all they're thinking about is the collective. The shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Nobody give a damn about that. We have one day, someday, somewhere, another time. They could be waiting. 
like um waiting it out here hoping that you eventually get over what happened to be able to rekindle with you um nourish it's in reverse self-growth self-focus and soul finding yeah it's over you don't want nothing to do you're not pouring anything else into this last card from this deck obscurity secrets mysteries and concealing this person could be crying it looks like she's crying with her hiding her face i don't know this person might look different too because they stressing out i don't know what to say here but um let me find out if there's a new person here because this is old news y'all done with this can i have something on a new person is there a new person here is there someone else coming in the eight of pentacles passion high standards skill development and mastery mm. some of y'all just working on yourselves and y'all coins let's see what we got here um we got her oh no i'm sorry the five of cups regret failure disappointment pessimism loss and grief this person sitting there losing themselves instead of trying to become a better person. I need to know about the new person ancestors. I'm not. Okay, we got Ace of Pentacles. They said, hold the hell up. We getting to it. Um, more on a new person. Six of Pentacles. We have the word yes here. So there is a new person coming towards y'all. We got yes on the Eight of Pentacles also um giving receiving generosity charity and sharing you got somebody coming in that's giving and i feel like they know what they want too we have the strength card it could be a leo um courage passion influence inner strength and focus two of pentacles Unified love, partnership, connection, attraction, proposal, and marriage. You could wind up marrying this person coming in. Um, they have a lot to offer. Oh, that, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, we got two, two here. This is a two of pentacles. That was a two of cups. Um, multiple priorities, balancing decisions, and time management. Oh, excuse me. I just got drained real quick. This um this new person they kind of have a lot on their plate, um so they're gonna they're gonna learn how to balance life out with you, to make time for you and for what they got going on here. Hold on, y'all. I didn't see we had this. We have the moon here. Um, illusion, dreams, intuition, anxiety, and subconscious. Um. Be careful of any um, feelings of like doubt about this new person. Because I feel like it's the past person here. When we had that curse and hex card, I don't know, y'all. If the magician comes out, um, that's going to tell me what I need to know here. We have, um, what is this? The eight of, no, I'm sorry, the nine of pentacles. Fruits of labor, rewards, luxury financial independence this new person is independent but with it next to the moon card they might hide that from you so if they have like a um a good bit of money if they're a wealthy person they're not going to tell you um we have the chariot movement departure control direction so this person um they're coming in quickly there's forward movement this new person is in route, y'all. We have the Ten of Swords. Painful ending, deep wounds, crisis, failure, collapse, and defeat. Um, This past person has gone through something, too, um, that I feel like pushed them into the person that they are. We have the Two of Wands. We got two, two, two here. Planning, discovery, travel plans, making decisions. This person could travel for work, and that's why I feel like they have to learn how to 
balanced life with you, balanced life and love here. Um, so this person could be very busy. Um, we have the four of swords here, rest, relaxation, retreat and renewal. Some of y'all need to get some rest because I just said about yawning a lot and feeling tired all of a sudden. Some of y'all could be fatigued or like just kind of tired and restless. And y'all need to take some time to yourself. We have the king, the hangman, delays, resistant, lack of control, sacrifice, fear of sacrifice. Some of y'all you need to uh, withstand still. You need to go. Um, you need to rest. Some of y'all are doing a lot at this time. Um, we have emperor. Yes, you're an emperor. So you have a, some of y'all can have a lot on your plate too, or you're like the provider for your family. So you're doing a lot. I feel like you're being called to rest here. Respect, leadership, father figure, um, control, discipline, focus. Some of y'all could be focused on being an emperor energy or your person is. Um, they've just been trying to build a solid foundation and some structure in their life and now they're ready for love we have the knight of cups as i say that romantic charm um knight in shining arm armor prince charming proposals so your person is coming in that energy um they could be blessed too um so they might have a lot of things um going on for themselves justice truth clarity balance cause and effect um page of pentacles manifestation financial opportunity diligence i just said um uh, excuse me i feel like this person is blessed here it's a part of their um karmic justice here for them to be stable financially so, like I said, this person is blessed. They don't have too much hardships when it comes to finances. And I feel like because they're settled, um, they're stable and where they want to be at financially, now they're able to explore when it comes to love here. Um, they're able to take the time away from whatever career they might have that's taken up a lot of their time and um, be in a relationship now. Yep, the sun positivity pleasure happiness fun celebration success all as well yeah their finances are where they want it to be so now they're ready to find their person they're coming in with a tower sudden change upheaval awakening release it says disaster but i don't feel that um ooh. Hold on, y'all. That flew out kind of crazy. The Page of Cups in reverse. So what was this? The, oh, that was a Page of Pentacles. Creativity, intuitive messages, possibility, happy surprise, sensitivity, and new love. Yep. You got new love coming in. Oh, could be some conflict here. We have the Five of Swords. Competition, rivalry. Um, strife and tension. Uh oh, your contagion touch me, baby. Confirmation this person just, um, they want a chance with you so bad. Another chance, Ugh. they could come with conflict because they, they don't want you to reject them and then move on to someone else here. But you're the empress. So we got the emperor and em empress out, of here, out here. It's over. Fertility, feminine, good parenting, development, evolution, action, judgment. Yep. Rebirth, inner calling, a new phase, forgiveness, mercy, and redemption. Yep. Some of y'all getting ready to redeem yourselves and be with your counterpart. We got the empress and emperor out here. Can't, don't get no better than that with the sun. Oh my goodness. We have the um, three of pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, building something. 
I, this is giving me um, you two being very supportive of each other, but it's also giving me this past person with these third parties here. They really thought they was going to be able to collaborate with these people and have something, um, something worth the while. I don't know why, because most of the third parties were sexual based. So I don't feel like, how do you make that mistake? Like, I don't think this person knows what love is. We have 8-8 eight, eight here. We have 4-4. Four, four. And we have three, three. Look up those numbers. 11 is sticking out to me too. Look that up. I'm gonna get like two more of these. I don't know what they want you to do, this person. You don't make your choice and then when that shit don't work out for you, you think you're gonna come back to somebody. That's not how it goes. Yep, we have the four wands, 11, 11 here. Celebration, joy, harmony, homecoming, community, and marriage. Y'all are off to something that um, we got 444 here that you've wanted. You might have wanted this with this person, but they chose to abandon that. So, what are you supposed to do? Wait for them to heal? That's not how it works. We have nine of um, wands here courage, test of faith, resilience, last stand and weary yeah mm -mm. no you're too resilient to be waiting on somebody to get their shit together and i don't even think they still where they're supposed to be the hermit yeah they need to take time to themselves soul searching introspection wisdom truth seeking being alone independence <laughs> inner guidance and we got nine nine right next to each other. Yeah, they need to have several seats in the back, in the dark, up at the highest bleaches away from y'all, working on themselves. This is what they're supposed to be doing at this time. Not worrying about trying to be with the collective unhealed. The three of wands. And they, as I say unhealed, we got the three of swords at the bottom. Heartbreak, suffering, grief, emotional pain, sorrow, loss, and depression. This is how they coming back to the collective. We got 333 three, three here. We got 3333. Three, three, three. Okay, we got four threes. I had to make sure I said it right. Preparation, progress, expansion, and overseas opportunities. Mm -mm. Y'all done. That's all I'm getting from this. Um, Last card. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, unstable. Financially and mentally. Greed. Indulgence. Obsessed with wealth and status. Stubborn and material loss. Yeah, they're, your ancestors and them got this person in the King of Pentacles in reverse. Where are you going? Why would you want to go back to somebody in that energy? You're going to be nothing but a burden to somebody else. You can't bring anything to the table and you need to heal. Their greed got them in this situation. Ecstasy, third parties. I, I don't know what they want here. They don't want to work for nothing. That's what it is. Oh, I come back unhealed and I get the collective and empress or emperor energy. No, the hell you won't. You're in the king of pentacles in reverse. What the hell can you give an emperor or an empress? Their greed and obsession and, and being stubborn got them where they are. And they got to sit in their shit. That's not the collective's problem. Um, Let me get some of these here. I don't know what to tell this person. Embrace. Yep, they need to accept what fate has in store for them. <laughs> That's the advice. You accept your consequences for your action. That's having accountability. I effed up. I know I effed up. And now I got to sit in this um these consequences here and make sure it don't happen again with clarity. Take a moment to think about your situation and figure it out. They're still running from what they need to sit and soak in and understand so they won't make the mistake again. They're just wanting another chance, but you know that's not what this is about. 
This person needs to heal and you've done the work so you're getting rewarded. Telepathy. It could be trying to communicate with you through songs and um, angel numbers and stuff. Like They need to stop worrying about you and worry and focus on themselves. We have value. It's in reverse. Focus on things of value. They're not doing that. If they can't do for themselves, what can they do for another person? It's like, they're not coming with anything but burdens. They want you to fix them too? No. No, no, no. Because when your ass was in the divine feminine energy in reverse, you had to get your own self out of that energy. Tree, tell a tree what you really think. That's giving me earth sign energy. Somebody's an earth sign in this situation. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have heart. <sighs> surprise. You may be surprised. Synchronicity and allure. Consider the situation carefully. Don't let this person send you no confusion, damn spell. Or have your mind boggled and foggy. With this um, telepathy stuff they're trying to send to you. Reconciliation, because they want to reconcile with you. No. Feelings flipped out in reverse. Take the time to explore the deep emotions you are having. I feel like that's y'all. You don't have any more feelings for this. Um, we have spirit here. Um... If they have a soul tie with you, it's going to be cut. And it's for your good and theirs. They need to work on themselves. Guilty, confusion, and acceleration. Yeah, I just said about don't let this person send no confusion spells to you or try to get you confused. They could be trying to hit your um, root chakra to throw you off. And they're picking it up because some of y'all are getting ready to be in a union that's going to lead to marriage. With the acceleration in marriage, whoever you connect with, this can move really quickly with this person. So, yeah, I heard three or six months y'all could be in a situation. Y'all could be getting proposed to some of y'all. So, union. This is your divine um, counterpart. This the um, masculine chose to be distorted instead of divine. So I feel like they're sending a divine masculine in. Attract. The appeal of soul pairing goes beyond superficiality. The universe will help you recognize signs and miracles. I feel like this person is addicted to like finer things in life with that beauty card they could be like they let looks get them caught up and they wind up being with third parties that don't have nothing to offer or don't want to offer them anything we have love here love can conquer everything soul we got spirit soul and what was the other one soul spirit and there was another one here, heart here so this is going to be a deeply rooted connection that you're going to um i feel like it's true love uh, we have tests here your strengths and weaknesses are being tested that was that person that was temptation they fell into the hands of it illusion yep avoid the stake of Avoid the trap of mistaken fantasy for a real soul connection. Didn't I just say that about this person don't know what love is? I don't know. It's something warped like with this person's thinking here. We have indication. And we have watch for the signs that lead you to true love. They were getting guided when it comes to your relationship with them. They chose to not understand it or they chose to ignore what they was getting um, the signs about that you were their person, that they had to make a choice between love and lust. Time, let time forget those scars. And I did say this person's trying to wait this out here to see if you get over what happened. Maze, even if you feel lost, there's always a way through the maze. 
study. Let love show you how to learn from each other. Moment. Think of a special moment that brought you and your partner a lot of joy. That's this person. They could be studying you, which I'm getting just watching you and what's going on with your life at this time on social media or word of mouth. Um, and they're reminiscing about the moments that they did have good times with you. Um, emotion. Look into the depths of your emotions. Yeah, now they want to sit and take the time to recognize what they actually um, should have been feeling about you when they were with you. I mean, it's a little too late now. Enlightenment and admiration. Yep. Now they admire you. They understand the BS that they put you through. Commitment. You're going to be in a relationship with somebody that admires you. They're going to love the little quirky things about you. Anything that the flaws. They're going to love it all. We have challenge. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. True love. True love appears when you least expect it and strength. The power of love is like a magnet drawing two souls together. You and your new person, make sure y'all work as a team. And don't let nobody come in between y'all. I feel like the strength of your relationship is going to be tested by outside people. Again. But I feel like this masculine is going to choose to be divine. I feel like they're already divine. They're just going to stay in that energy. So temptation won't get this person caught up. I feel like they're really um, intelligent, mature. Um, they make good decisions. And that's why they are where they are in life. Um, and I feel like they've taken the time to just work on their finances and do them. And now they're ready for commitment. So, um, you snooze, you Lewis. That's all I can say. Move out the way. Friendship flew out. This person could come to you and just be like, I want to be friends. They just want to be in your energy in some way shape or form and you'll regret it too if you <laughs> i was gonna say that i feel like this person would start overstepping boundaries if you were to try to have a friendship with them we have abundance growth yeah they want things but they don't want to put the work in growth is in reverse indecision straddle defense Discipline and wasn't disciplined. They fell to temptation. This is giving me that Tyler Perry movie. Oh my God, what the hell was that movie? Where there was the um Lance Gross. That's my husband and my mind, y'all. Just let me be delusional for a minute. But it's it's with Lance Gross and was it called Temptation? Well, it was the it was a lady that was married to Lance Gross and he um he didn't have much. They were struggling and um she was with him from young, so she kind of like you know how sometimes as years go by you start to outgrow some per the person or you become um you lose interest. So she started losing interest for Lance Gross. This is how karma worked. Because that man loved her. But um, he had his issues too. He wasn't perfect. Like he forgot her birthday. And he it, it, he had his things going on. But 48, 48 on the time as I'm saying this. So she runs into this guy. That looks like he has everything. He has the money. He has a, a business. He takes interest and tries to invest in what she's trying to do with her career and um, very well known and exciting. And he just sparked something in her that she felt like she was missing at home. So she gets with him. She leaves Lance and she gets with him. He winds up being a drug addict. So he gets her hooked on drugs. Then um, he's in a, he wound up being an abuser. So he was beating her up and uh, verbally abusing her. Um, then he was a cheater also. Um, he wound up being 
everything that he didn't portray to her in the worst way. Um, long, long story short, however the phrase go, um, she wound up catching HIV from this man. And Lance wound up beating him up and saving her from that situation. But when he saved her, he didn't take her back. Because obviously not, she cheated on, she left her husband, cheated on her husband and wound up catching HIV from this man. This is what I'm getting here. That storyline, I got, I think it's called Temptation too. This person let some type of beauty, um, chemistry and passion that they had for like third parties like i don't know here they just they didn't want to be divine because i felt like i feel like they thought it wasn't gonna fulfill them in some way to be divine so they went distorted and they found out that doesn't work for them but it's too late it's like it's no coming back from it that's what i'm getting it's no coming back from the decision they made because with her, that's what it was. And she had to watch Lance go on with his new family. And he was doing really well. And she was by herself. And she you could see she was sick because she had problems with walking. And, and he worked in the pharmacy. So he gave her medication, like discounts on her medication for her HIV. It's crazy how things work when you don't see the value in somebody. And... You go searching elsewhere for something that's right in front of you and then how life plays out for you after that. That's what I'm getting here. This person doesn't like the consequences of their actions. So they feel like it'll, it's going to be a quick fix if they come back to you. It's not happening. We have honesty here. Um, This person, that's next to discipline. They weren't honest with you. We have imagination. I feel like there's a lot of things you still don't know about this person that happened when they were with you. Because I feel like they concealed a lot here. We have courage. Balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do it without judgment. Some of y'all not judging this person. And you just know they weren't for you and that's it. You're ready to go on with their life. We have death, freedom, and pride. Yep, they feel like they're stuck now. And it's because of their pride and their ego. Change. Let me see what's next. Worry. They're worried they can't change this. That you're not going to take them back. You're still going to act on it. Because I feel like it's, it's bothering them so much. But they do worry that you're going to reject them. Doubt. Yeah. Told you. <sighs> Denial. Yeah. They know what's up. Empathy in reverse. Yeah. They know. Some of them, they know that you don't feel sorry for whatever's going on with them. Because they brought adversity to your life. And they feel guilty about it. Humor in reverse. Now they want to be serious. <laughs> Forgiveness. Yeah. Success. Judgment. And relationships. Well, your judgment is to have a successful relationship with someone else. Yeah, I just... Your... Your, um... Consequences for your actions are beautiful ones. Like you're you're not gonna be suffering in no way here. Um and that's for you, that's from you making the right decision. This person chose not to make the right decision here. We have the King of Pentacles here. Some advice, and I'm gonna let y'all go. Um the four of cups. Yeah, you're like snubbing their offer. The cup is bigger than what they offered you before. Because now they want to give you what they know you deserve. But it's been too much done here. You have judgment. It's a wrap. The 
the devil. Mm. They made a choice. Oh, no, that wasn't even a devil. Sorry, y'all, the world. Judgment is that this is closed out. It's over. The two of wands, yep. They chose not to, uh, they were being guided. They chose not to listen. So we got the two of wands here. Their path is blocked when it comes to the ten of cups. Um, until this person heals, I feel like they will not be happy. The lovers. The high priestess. And some of y'all knew this lifestyle that they chose over you wasn't going to work for them. With the high priestess here and the ace of wands in reverse. Yeah, they lost passion for being a player energy. I don't want to be that player no more. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. <laughs> that is so arrogant. I'm not a player. Yes, the hell you are. We have knight of swords and the queen of pentacles. Yeah. Now they want... Now they see you as their counterpart and they want to rush in. And they're still delusional because they're not even the king of pentacles. They're the king of pentacles in reverse. But they're going to come to you like they are the king of pentacles upright. They're just asking you to wait for your ships to sell them with the three of wands and, and hard and um decline on this person. A hard no. Eight of wands. Yeah, communication is coming, but lay it to rest. Close it out. It's over. Yep, six of swords. Sail in a different direction. And it's not your problem that they let these third parties with the um, three of pentacles put them in devil energy. They fell into temptation. That is not your fault. I'm going to end it there. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Join the Spiritually U.S. family. But we would love to have you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the support. Um, if you want to donate to the channel, um, and I'm meaning cards, not only money, y'all. Uh, I love cards. Or whatever you might want to donate to the channel, hit me in my email, um, and I'll let you know um, where to send it. Or, um, yeah, I'm going to get a P.O. box. So, um, I'm going to look into that tomorrow. And then I'll have that listed in the description. Um, other than that, y'all, I will see you later um, tomorrow. Um, don't let this past person um, come in and make you feel bad about you moving forward to something better. Um, you deserve it. And they deserve what they're getting. So everybody make their own bed and they have to lay in it. So, um, you know, for them to choose um, a lifestyle or someone else over you, I feel like it was more of a lifestyle. For them to choose to um, be distorted and not divine, that's the path they have to walk on. So, sorry, not sorry. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, that's for sure. But, you know, stand on what you chose. That's what you wanted. It didn't work out. Just move on. Don't try to um bring your baggage and whatever else they got going on with Contagious. Some of them could have an STD. But um, just be careful here. Y'all got this. A lot of y'all don't even like talking about past stuff but they needed y'all to know something because some of the, some of y'all this person's getting ready to come back they're gonna gather up the balls to come back towards you so they want you to be prepared they don't want to push the knife in deeper talking about um stuff or having you feel like you're going through it again reliving it um this this past stuff comes out for a reason so um, just know they made their choice, so, hey. Okay. All right, y'all, I'm going to let y'all go later.